Here's a quick update for you guys who've been waiting. Uh, nothing has been going on for quite some time here. But uh, the last year I've been building a new engine. It's uh, I'm kind of stretching the imagination a bit. It's uh, completely mild steel, well, sheet sheet, uh, completely a sheet metal engine with uh, a centrifugal compressor here and an axial turbine. I sheeted a bit and had the blades segments cut in a laser because it's tedious work to do it by, by hand uh, and the fuel will be a ring of spray nozzles uh, somewhere in the region of 10 liters per minute at full full throttle if I ever get there uh, so I've been it's a lot of welding on this one uh, I've gotten so far, uh, the plan is to use uh, an hydraulic pump with a very large one-phase engine motor to power the fuel <coughs> and then for now at least I will use a pulley with a clutch like a centrifugal clutch here on a 9 horsepower 4 stroke to start it, I, this won't be the way I will start it later, but for now, just to just to get it spinning. And uh, there's, let's see, some stuff here, and ignition, here's the, the plan is to eventually power the fuel pump from the shaft with a toothed, toothed uh, belt. But uh, for now I'll use the electrical motor to save me some trouble. And uh, so the engine is like 80% close to its first light up. I need to fasten the compressor shroud, perhaps strengthen it a bit fit the fuel ring and make uh, some kind of air seal around here along with some uh, like some brackets to to keep the lid from popping off because it's this is a low pressure engine it's I don't think I'll reach 0 0.5 bar boost pressure perhaps 0 0.2 0 0.3 but it's uh, it's still lots of lots of area, so it's it will it will try to force itself apart. There's some improvised belt tensioner, and the <coughs> hopefully the centrifugal clutch will disengage because I will I will motor the uh, motor the engine up to speed light it up and then increase the this is the throttle uh, I will increase the fuel until it starts to pull away from the starter and hopefully the the centrifugal <laughs> centrifugal centrifugal clutch will disengage so the belt will keep spinning and the four stroke is standing still but uh, I will see uh, the plan now is to motor it up to like 1500 RPM just to see if it's blowing some wind. I know it is because I tried it before I started to shoot this video. Uh, but uh, yes, I'll arrange the camera and give it a try. Yeah, let's give it a go. Hello camera. A little more wrinkled, a little more mustache. But still the same guy.
the club shift is engaging. The engine is revving down. There are some vibrations, but it's... I don't know. I think I'll try to... Try to start it before... Because the wheels aren't balanced. That's... Uh, mm. And everything is like more or less cobbled together. But uh, the... The first... Let's see... The, the first... Assumption was that I could run this engine, an engine because the rotor is 500 millimeters in diameter, and I hoped, I guessed, I could run it up to 10,000 RPM. But that's that's a pipe dream. The the wheels will co tear tear themselves apart before that. But with these hubs, because they are just welded steel hubs, perhaps. Three, four thousand RPM, and uh, later I will make uh, billet ones from 70, 75 aluminum. And the, uh, this is interesting. It, uh, it's some uh, cone as uh, clamps. Uh, I don't know what they're called. They're double cones, so you, you torque them down, and then they squeeze onto the shaft. So the shaft is. It's not keyed or anything, it's just a flat, uh, smooth shaft. So if it works, it's great. Uh, but it's, I mean, if I can get this thing up to six, seven thousand RPM, it's, it will still produce lots of thrust and uh, hopefully torque, because I will, I will try to extract power from the shaft. From the drive shaft from it with a, a snowmobile clutch, a belt clutch. But that's that's a long way. It's a long way there. I hope to get this thing idling this winter. Oh, I've been rambling for four minutes. Enough of that. The battery is almost dead. So well. At least I'm doing some something. The bike is gathering dust, so no no more racing in the near future. Yep, until next time. See ya.